what is going on and welcome back. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Before I get started, guys, if you're new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 32,000 subscribers and I would love you guys to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. Also, guys, follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video. And this one was highly requested and we are talking about the black eyed children. But before we get started on that, we have to jump right over to Paranormal America. <laughs> What's going on, you guys, and welcome to Paranormal America. And today we are talking about the urban legend of black eyed children. And black eyed children, if you guys don't know, are children that usually travel either alone or in pairs. There's usually one or two of them and they will come to your house or come to your car. Depending on where you are, th these can happen pretty much anywhere. And black eyed children have, I don't think they've ever actually harmed anybody because there is no proof of them ever actually harming anybody. But there's um, stories of people experiencing uh, the black eyed children and basically what happens little children come to your house so let's say this is the house story um, a lot of people have reported having children having children come to their house um, somewhere in the middle of the night knock on the door you go to the door who's knocking at my house this time of night I don't know let's go check it out so you go to your front door you open the door and there's one or two children standing there which makes you feel freaked out anyway, because why would a child be out this time of night? People say they're usually between like eight years old and maybe 12 years old, something like that. Um, they're usually young and they will come knock on your door and they will be very polite, but they usually have, they, they usually have like a hat on or usually a hoodie on, like um, have something over their head, like a hood. Um, and they, they kind of like look down, they're in dark clothes and they will say, can I use your phone or can you let me in or I need your help can you help me they usually want something from you so they're gonna ask you I need your phone can I use your phone and a lot of people would obviously be like oh should I because you know it's a child why is the child maybe it's lost you know I don't know but it would be a very scary situation. You would ask them a few more questions before that. You'd be like, oh, well, why? Where's your parents? You know, you'd ask them that kind of thing before you welcome a strange child into your house. Um, they will ask for, they will request you to use your phone to come in uh, to your house. They will just straight up say, "I can I come in? And that's pretty weird, right? Uh, so obviously you're gonna say, no. Why do you wanna come in? Um, but if apparently if you say no to them, they will start pushing more and they will start being more demanding and more abrupt with you and they will be like, I need to come in. I need you to help me. I need to use your phone. I need to. And then it will be like, no, you can't come in. You're not using my phone. Then it will change to let me in. Let me use your phone. And apparently people have described being uh, kind of I guess persuaded by them like you're getting persuaded even though you don't want to people have found themselves letting them in uh, there's no story really what happens once they're in your house apparently they just like disappear but they don't really harm anybody um, so I don't really know what the actual what the actual threat is of a black eyed child Apparently it's a demon though, because the reason they call them black eyed child is because uh, they have black eyes and once you like say no a bunch of times, they will eventually reveal their eyes to you and they will look up and move the hood down or whatever they have on their head um, and they will reveal their eyes and they, they have been described to have black eyes and a lot of people have uh, actually said that they, the same story, you know, they've come to the house in the middle of the night, they've, de they've demanded to use the phone, they've demanded to come into the house um, and there was one guy I actually read about who let them in uh, he saw that they had black eyes and I think later on they literally just disappeared nothing happened 
Um, so I don't really understand what they are. Like, are they demons? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I really don't understand, like, what's the consequences of this? Uh, other people have t told stories about how they have been, um, you know, in the car and parked up somewhere, and then uh, it's like nighttime, a child will come and knock on the window and be like, I need a ride, can you give me a ride? And if you say no, they're like, I want a ride, you need to give me a ride, you're the only one who can help me. Nope, sorry, and roll your window back up. Um, and then they start getting pretty aggressive, as always, show their eyes, um, but you just gotta get out of there. You, people have said that you just, the best thing to do is they will keep, keep bothering you and bothering you until you eventually give in. Um, so you just get out of there. Like, literally, shut the door. If you're in your house, shut the door. Don't let them in. Don't open the door. Uh, but it must be very terrifying hearing somebody knocking outside, knowing you, you just saw those black-eyed kids, and, um, they're uh they're outside the door like it must be terrifying especially if you're home alone and you you're walking around your house and you could be like in the kitchen it goes quiet for a second and then the next thing you look and they're in the they're in the kitchen window looking at you god man i would not like to come face to face with black eyed kids apparently there was one caught on the news um I actually seen Shane Dawson's video on this and he talked about a clip that uh, was on the news and there were, like in the background something happened in the background you could see a black eyed kid standing in the crops uh, like in a cornfield somewhere it's it, you could just kind of see them like peeping uh, it's kind of scary it's weird definitely weird uh, but what do you guys think about black eyed kids have you ever experienced one don't lie to me and be like yeah I have literally tell me the truth because I, I would love to hear more stories on these black eyed children um, they're they're I, I think I find them scary because they're very mysterious like you just don't know what what's gonna happen you don't know what they're gonna do and the scariest part of all is that they can appear at any time like to anybody I could be home alone one night and it, I could hear the the door somebody knock on the door at night and it could be black eyed children and I would freak out you know so um, I don't know, what do you guys think about black-eyed children? Let me know in the comment section. That is officially question of the day. Magic 8-Ball, are black-eyed children real? It is decidedly so. Woohoo! So people have decided they are real. Um, there is no official proof that these are real, but uh, personally, I'm a hard-to-believe kind of guy. I mean, I'm a hard to to believe kind of guy i guess yeah i i find it hard to believe things unless i see it with my own two black demon eyes but uh i i definitely like the idea of this being real like it's very creepy and very mysterious and it's awesome to think it could happen to anybody at any time and i was i would like it to happen to me but i would not like to be home alone if it happened um i just like i'd be like grabbing my camera and i'd be like filming it for you guys i'd be like hey kitties just show me your eyes so I can show my, my what shall we do next to cans. You're going on YouTube. You're going to be famous. Um, I don't know if they would take that nicely, though. I don't know if they want to be famous um, or they would just kill me because they don't want me to expose them because they're so mysterious. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but what do you guys think about Black Eyed Children? Also, guys, I have some news. I am. Uh, there's a couple things I want to mention to you guys. One, uh, in my previous video, I said to you guys, I remember I was blabbing on about bridges because I was making a video about the Crybaby Bridge, and I blabbed on about bridges, and then I was like, uh, I'm not, I'm not making this video about bridges, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should just do a video on bridges, and I was like, if you guys came to that, you would literally be my biggest fans. Like, if you come to a video where I just literally talk about nothing but bridges. Would you come to that? And a lot of you guys are actually saying, yeah. So if you're serious, I will post a video talking about bridges and we will just see how many people actually turn up for that video. Uh, that will determine who are the real soldiers here and who don't, don't just watch me just because of the title or the thumbnail, but you actually come to watch because it's me. It's one of my videos. Um, so that will really show off who is the real, what shall we do next, Kins? Um, so yeah, let me know if you're down for that because I, I literally will do that. Like I'm crazy like that. I will do a video video talking about bridges um, the other thing guys in a couple weeks I will be doing a live stream here on this channel um, I don't know what time or day yet but I will tell you guys I will update you I just post I'm just saying this in this video so I can kind of remind myself um, 
and let you guys know also. So let me know if you will be there for a live stream. It will probably be around this time, um, well, whenever I post this video, usually between like 7 and 9 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so let me know if you guys can be here, and I will definitely do a live stream. And uh, what's the other thing I wanted to mention to you guys? There's something else. I can't really remember. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's pretty much it, I guess. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, oh wait, 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 random fact. You guys know uh, I've started this thing called Random Fact of the Day where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's random fact of the day is the average person falls asleep in seven minutes. Now that is not me for sure. I mean, I, I, I literally, I will lay there for at least an hour and a half before I fall asleep. I am a terrible sleeper. I cannot sleep for the love of God. I cannot sleep. And it sometimes gets really, really annoying. You know, when you have to get up super early and you go to bed and no matter what, you cannot sleep. And that's what happens to me. I hate it. I hate it. How fast do you fall asleep? Let me know in the comment section. Woo, we got a lot of questions for you guys today. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoy your week. The start of the week is tomorrow. It's Monday. So go to school with a positive smile on your face. And just try and enjoy your day, whatever you're, do you're doing tomorrow. Because I know a lot of you guys are going to work. A lot of you guys are going to school. Whatever it is that you don't want to do, but you got to do it because it's life. Try and enjoy it. Try and make it a good day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love all you guys. And remember to uh, chase your dreams. Later, guys.